I also discovered I have a book of inspirational quotes on my desk. If you can dream it, you can do it. You want to hear one? One, two, three. One, two, three. Back in. Oh, I can't wait. Random food. I inspirational quotes. The strength of your will cannot be imprisoned by other people's ignorance. There you go. There's your there's your inspirational quote for the day. Congratulations, audience. I have imparted wisdom upon you. I hope you're happy. Anyway. Uh, so, update for everyone watching right now. The, this this video might be a little bit different than ordinarily. I've, I've tried to keep it as, as normal as possible, but I'm, I'm using a different capture card right now because I had to get a new one to in order for it to work with the new with the new next gen consoles the problem is that the new capture card doesn't work with the old capture card software because elgato has adopted the timeless policy of if it if it ain't broke please fix it so they made the new ui completely incompatible it's garbage it's that you can't make commentary track there's a lot there's a lot of things about it that are just different and i don't feel like getting into it all so i'm using obs to import oh. yeah i i opened up obs and i'm I just added the Elgato as a source, um, so I'm recording the Elgato with OBS because I said screw their software; it's actual trash. Um, so this should all be it look. It should look the same. The bit run, the bit rate might be a bit different, but in general, it should hopefully be about the same. If there's any problems, let me know, and I'll be sure to fix it in the comments. All right, fix it in the comments. Let me know in the comments, and I'll fix it for the next episode. But um, yeah, that's. I was that expecting you to say OBS. Okay, this. Okay, there's a person behind me that. Okay, thanks, bye. There's a person behind me who just walked up to me and asked, What exactly did the hero do? Stood there for about three seconds and then walked the other direction. Thanks. That's and a mystery. Did, didn't even give me a chance to answer that question. Anyway, I have been informed in the comments and confirmed by my lovely partner right here Hello. That, that I did not actually find the Pokemon she wanted me to find. I was tricked. You were tricked? What do you mean? Wait, wait a minute, how are you tricked? For those of you who can't know, I can't actually see his screen, so everything he says, I'm going off his word. Okay, and I, so this, that's the same for me, because you told me a, a cute little fluffy white Pokemon rolling around in the snow. So then I found one, and I said, I, 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 I said exactly the words that he was, that the Pokemon said to me. And then that was enough for you to think that it was the one you were looking for, that, I, that you wanted me to look for, apparently. Exactly why I was tricked. <laughs> I what? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so here, here it is right now. The, uh, what did I just, okay, my, I, what, what did I open on my TV? I don't know. Did, I also got a new TV. What is going on? Okay. What? Everything I don't wanna, is I don't, happening. I don't want to update Amazon Prime. What are you? <laughs> I haven't been watching Doctor Who on Amazon Prime. Application's been updated successfully. Great, thanks. I, I don't I don't want to update Amazon Prime. What do you? <sighs> this episode's gonna be a weird one because I also got a new TV so that I can actually play games at 4K, 120 FPS, which also means that I'm currently playing Pokemon Sword because my TV upscales it to 100. I don't know if it's 60 or 120, but the game only runs natively at 30 FPS, but my TV is upscaling it for me, so it's, it looks a lot smoother. So, yeah. Anyway. So the, the Pokemon that I saw, the dialogue bubble above its head says, S -s 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 no! And then... And that's a Dura... Dur Durama? No, well, that's a... Yeah, I think I, I said Durama. that exact same thing to her. Uh, and she, she... She interpreted that as, Oh, he must have found Snum. Great. I was tricked. I, I have I've done nothing to trick you. You came to that conclusion all, by, all on your own. I was still tricked. By who? By who? I was tricked. Great. Okay. No. Oh, what? There's a kung fu man chasing me. I don't like it. Okay. Bye. Anyways, uh, you should go to the um. So you know, there's like a little fountain plaza thing south yes. of the clothing shop. Yes. Go in there. Okay. I'm going to the fountain, but then I also then I have to go to Not the, the giant fountain. There should be like a spot where you can walk down, and there's like a little path that you can walk past, like a little lake. I, I'll I'll find it. I'm going down a path. Okay. Route nine. Is this what you're talking about? No. <laughs> what? You should still be in the city. Okay. So there's a giant fountain in the city. 
So, if you go up one of the paths, there should be, like, a little staircase going down. Go up one of the paths. There should be a little staircase that goes down-ish. Okay. Um, if I tell you where the steak restaurant is, can you can you use that to help me find my direct, find my path? So yes. I'm, okay, so I'm at the steak restaurant right now. Give me a moment. <laughs> Okay, wait, I, I've gone down into an area where there's a little pool thing with a giant- with a statue floating in the mirror. Yes, that. There should be a Flitter. little tiny Pokemon around there. Oh, oh, is that it? Flitter, Flitter! Oh, it's on top God. of the trash can. I, th I think that's it. <laughs> it looks like it. Okay, if it looks like it, that's probably it. Great, I found Snum. We can move on with the rest of our lives now. Great. Yes, now we can. Okay. So on that note, let's go to the steak restaurant because Sophia is waiting for me. Or is it is it Sonya or Sophia? I don't know. Sonya, it's Sonya. Okay, Sonya is waiting for me. Uh, and so is Hop. Got that gym badge, Trevor? Nice one. Oh hey, there. Oh there you are, Perry. I've been trying to find out more about the darkest day in the Sword and Shield Pokemon, but still no luck. Dot dot dot. Wait, hold on. Oh, okay, what are we holding on for? Holding on. No, way. What's this? I believe that's a mural. Uh, a new chapter in the old Galar Legends, a filth tapestry, or an absolutely fantastic poster. A, a new chapter, I guess? The heroes look sad. What's, what was the meaning of the picture? An end to the legend? Hmm, perhaps when their duty was completed, they went into some kind of sleep? Perhaps... Based on the statue cell that can still one side, the sword and the shield were actually two Pokemon, right? That's right, that's my take on it, at least. You remember the Pokemon we met that day? You think it could have been one of them? Either the sword or the shield Pokemon? You met them? You met- Oh yeah, you did. Come on, you know what I'm talking about, right, Trevor? In the slumbering wield, yeah, we, we met, we met the, giant, the giant scary lion thing. Exactly! The mad Pokemon we ran into in the fog! Don't you think that could have been it? Oh, well, that's, that's right! The thing you thought was gonna kill you. <laughs> yeah, that thing. And because it probably should have killed us. It probably could have, if it wanted to. But it chose not to, because... I don't know. Oh, that's right! Pokemon. You lot, that, that, why was it attacking us in the first place? It did actually attack you. You just hit it in air, if I remember correctly, correct? So, m maybe. <laughs> Logic! I only, started, I only started on this journey because my grand told me to, but this is turning out to be too much fun! You gotta tell me more! How about we discuss this over a meal? Come on, what do you want to eat? Let's get our orders in. I'll eat anything but steak. I'll eat anything but that. Uh, well, Which I, know I think your, your options may only be steak, steak, or steak. Well, I see I see some fruit back there, and so I, that I'll take that, because I... So you I've just only, want side dish. I'll, I'll happily accept that. I, I tried... I've only ever had steak once when I was super young. I'd say... Uh, maybe, like, eight years old? That sounds... I think probably, like seven or eight years old my dad cooked my, my dad cooked steak for us uh and i i ate the piece and that was the only thing i ate that night because it essentially turned my throat into the bark of a tree for a night uh for a solid 24 hours something like that it scratched against the back of my throat so hard that my throat actually felt like the bark of a tree so Jeez, I, what, was, what was that steak you ate I, I, he said it was steak, and I, I hear all these people telling me about how steak is so juicy and delicious. It is. And I'm like, it's supposed to be juicy and tender. No, I ate it, and like I, I'm, I, I think he might have tricked me, and I ate a tree bark by mistake. But <laughs> I'm never eating steak again for the rest of my life. I'll tell you that much. So, uh, uh, well, you're missing out. I there's a lot of things I'm missing out. You can on, try vegan steak. I, that, it's not actual meat. It's all plant. Meat isn't the problem. I, I I'm. Like, I, I eat meat perfectly fine, it's just that specific meat, the steak, that mm -hmm. You should try some of my- my parents' steak. Like, we eat meat all the time in my family, so... We know how to make a good steak. Well, one- maybe one day I will, and then maybe- maybe that day my throat won't turn into... the bark of a tree. Honestly, the- the, the thing you should have to worry about with steak is it getting stuck in your teeth for being too chill, chewy. That- that did not happen, but my throat definitely did not appreciate the... The steak? It did not. Not at all, actually. And the reason why I can pin down ex the, the, my age is because I think, uh, it was like... I, I remember the year it happened and, and the night it happened, I 
I was just drinking ginger ale that night to try to deal with the deal with the scratchy throat. Because it wasn't like it wasn't strep throat or or, or suits or anything. It was just it was a just direct, a scratchy throat. Di yeah, literally scratched throat from the freaking steak. So, and I remember just sitting there drinking ginger ale and watching Toy Story to try to cope with my throat. Coping <laughs> with uh, this traumatic. Ex <laughs> yes. GM's traumatic steak experience in HD. <laughs> <laughs> in 4K. Uh, they say in this theaters, is... never. <laughs> in, in theaters, when theaters become safe to, to visit again. You know, you know what's pissing me off? The theaters are bringing back a lot of classic movies. O only now. <laughs> They're running out of things to show. They gotta show something. But like, you couldn't have done this, I don't know, a year ago? What, Usually uh, it's incremental. Now they're just like, let's throw them all at the same time. Like, Guardians of the Galaxy's back in theaters. And they were, they, they, they were showing Toy Story a couple weeks ago. Back to the Future was back in theaters. Like, really? You're that desperate that you couldn't, you couldn't have just done this. You realize that people would pay to go see Back to the Future in theaters any day of the week? They <laughs> usually do it at, like, a, uh, they do it, like, every, like, like, every month. They'll have, like, the, well, at least in the theater I go to, they always, like, advertise, They're like, hey, this special movie's playing on this date for, like, three days. Come see it if you want to. Uh... I, 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 they should do that more often. They shouldn't have just waited for a pandemic to destroy the world to actually do that. It's always you know. happening at my theater. Not sure about your theater, though. Eh, I would ask... I'll, let's cut us out of the recording. Which theater are we referring to here? I, I assume that much, yeah. You mean the theater you accidentally went to when we were going to see Men in Black? Yeah! <laughs> That was fun. We went to two compl for, story for story for those of you watching. When we went to see Men in Black International last year, uh, we we were both running late, but we both got to the theater on time. Like we were both like, oh no, we're running late. We're not going to be there on time. So we both arrived at the theater. We were standing outside the theater. We're like, yes, I got here on time, and I got there before the other person, so that they can't yell at me and say that I was late. Now where is the other person? So we were texting, like, where are you exactly? I'm, we we also were outside the theater. Um. And we, we looked around, later. and we, we didn't see each other outside the theater, and then we both came, I, I, we came to the realization that, oh, wait. One of us went to the wrong theater. We're it not was the right, me. We're not at the same theater, that's, uh So we missed the first, like, two minutes of the movie, but it didn't really matter, because, like, it, it was Men in Black International. It made it better, because we got the actual mystery of what happened, instead of knowing everything of what happened. I, I suppose... Uh, but, that, you know. In my opinion, if, like, you cut out, like, that opening scene, you kind of get an actual air of mystery about this event that they keep referring to that sounds so freaking awesome. Well, I still haven't watched the I've only seen the movie once, because, I, I mean, yeah, I just... Yeah, I've only seen it once, too. <laughs> but I, I just haven't gone back to watch the opening scene. I'm sorry, we're supposed to be playing Pokemon, we're not just talking. Yes! Okay. <laughs> Perhaps you should become new here. I'm sorry, viewers, we, we've just been talking. Uh, what, like, some here waving around a sword and a shield, pull the other one. I guess I'd fancy shield had to take my pick. Okay, what kind of battle do you think the heroes had? Uh, why don't we show- No! I don't want- Why- Find someone else to fight! I don't want to fight you! But Hop wanna fight! Huh? I said, but Hop wanna fight! If Hop wanna fight, Hop wanna fight! Hop, yeah, Hop do wanna fight, but Hop's gonna get his ass kicked, so... That's Hop's problem. But- Yeah, but he's making it my problem, because he wants me to be the one to kick his ass! Okay, is that an upgraded sh- Is that an upgraded sheep? Oh yeah, the sheep evolves. Oh. oh okay, okay. Dub wool. Great. It's a ram now. Yeah, well, he's about to get rammed off this planet because I'm gonna snipe shot him out of existence. Or maybe it'll backfire? Nope, okay, okay. Use you defense- Snipe shot yourself. Don't worry, I, I didn't snipe shot myself yet. Okay, yeah, use defense can... curl. Defense rose, buffeted by the hail. You barely- you did like- a twelfth of damage, and my snipe shot is still going to kick your rear end. Double, you snipe shot. Come on, come on. So we're, I'm coming to the end of the game here, right? Because I only have two more gyms to go, and then there's probably going to be some kind of final boss where the evil, crazy hair man who's kidnapping Pokemon or whatever. Yeah, you're getting towards the end of it. Um, also, the uh, oh, you don't get the kidnapping Pokemon plot because this isn't Team Rocket. Oh, Team Rocket, we love them. Um, but a, you are getting close to it. 
I'm guessing that's a Pokemon joke that I'm not gonna get because I only played this game. Not really a joke, but it's a reference. You don't you you're not familiar with Team Rocket, sadly. You I will be one day, hopefully. I'm familiar with a rocket in the form of a raccoon, but not. Do you not even know who Jesse James and Meowth are? Jesse, who with the Jesse the cowgirl from Poor Toy Child. Who? <laughs> you're just you're just saying random names at this point. You poor child, you didn't get to grow up with Jesse James and even me out. I, I can sing their entire theme song by heart. They have a theme song? Yeah! I, I don't even... I... <laughs> I'm gonna play it for you. <laughs> uh, what do you, uh, oh, you don't... Yo, oh, you don't have to do that, you don't. Yes, I do! No, you... Oh, God. What, what did I sign up for here? Ooh, I got a, I got a new move. Uh, let's see what it does. Fire spin. The target comes trapped with a, <laughs> then a fierce vortex for a fire that rages of four to five turns? Oh, yeah. Yes, that's... yes, please. Get out of here. Yeah, that's a really good one. Get, get fire spin in here. Come on. There we go. Now okay, we're coming with gas. You hear that? To unite all peoples within our nation. To denounce the evils of truth and love. To extend our reach to the stars above. Jesse! James! Team Rocket Blast off the speed of love! Surrender now or prepare to fight! Now, that's right! <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh, I heard it, alright. I heard <laughs> it in all, in all its glory. Oh, it's all its glitchy glory. <laughs> well, I mean, most of that was was fine uh it, it only cut out for a couple bits i i heard most of it in full oh yes we uh you before child you didn't get to grow up with the pokemon animation i you're right i i didn't the only pokemon music i know is the main theme song um more, more specifically the cover by nay wants to battle and amelie the actual it's you and me I know and, it's my and so, excuse me, and so on and so forth. Ah uh, yes, let's try not to copyright ourselves. <laughs> well, singing this, I, 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 oh great, Snorlax again. Uh, like people, I've been, people have tried to tell me that in the past, like, don't sing the song, you're gonna get copyrighted, like, it's not, that's not how this works. Uh, play, like, playing the actual song itself will get a copyright claim on YouTube. But me just singing isn't gonna do anything unless unless I auto tune my voice to match it perfectly to the point where they think it's a it, it's a cover song then then there's a thing. But other than that, nah. Just demonetize it. <laughs> uh, I mean, yes. I'm, so if, if it's if it's a if if I were to make a cover song, then I'd be able to share the monetization with the with the artist. But because like just like for instance, if I were to play a song. Actually, you know what? A, a, a relevant example is I just finished up my, my Let's Play of uh, Professor Lane in the Diabolical Box, and I was talking over the... So, like, I, t I typically try to talk over the credits for the whole thing for two reasons. One, I, I usually don't copyright. have to try... Right. Huh? I said copyright. <laughs> well, there's... I mean, that's the, the secondary reason, but I usually don't have to pretend to talk. Like, I can just... I usually, by the time I finish the game, I have enough to say about the story, the gameplay, and all that, to the point where I can, I can keep that going for the whole credits, uh, but that, even with that in mind, the YouTube's copyright senses were still good enough to pick up the, the end theme song to Diabolical Box Ugh. during the credits, so that video is demonetized now, but, you know, it's one out of thousands of videos, so I think I'll be fine. Unfortunate. <laughs> Uh-oh, how unfortunate. Uh-oh. How unfortunate, I'm gonna do a sneaky thing, and throw a new contender in the ring. Oh. A new challenger approaches. Is it Snorlax again? Uh, no, it's Corviknight. Hmm. His Corviknight or your Corviknight? His Corviknight. Rar. Your team is too nervous to eat berries. I haven't even eaten a single berry this entire game thus far. But, you know, I probably should have done it at some point. So, yeah, so, so to recap, we have two more gyms. And then I'm assuming we'll have whatever that final battle thing you mentioned with the brackets of fighting all the gym trainers at once, which I I, I can't wait to, to get my rear end handed to me on a silver platter by that. Make uh, sure you got lots of potions. 
Oh, don't worry. I will buy every potion in the game if I have to before that point. I mean, I already have plenty because I've been buying a lot. But still, I'm going to make sure I have plenty of potions to spare before I start that up. You'll, you'll also have to warn me before it happens so I know for sure that I don't start something I that I, I won't be able to finish. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't buy out the entire stock of potions. Well, uh, well I'm, I'm pretty sure that's because they don't have a stock. Like, it's just however many is... The, 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 I'm pretty sure they don't have a stock of potions. It just It's limited by how much money you have to spend. Uh... But, I'm pretty sure I would have, like, I, 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 I don't think I'm going to be running out of money anytime soon. I have, because they gave me so much at the start, and I've, that I keep getting more from fighting enemies, I think I'll be just fine. And, uh, I guess I'll use, I guess I'll use Zap to get some electric damage in here. Your opponent's weak. Get him, Zap. Go, Zap, go. Go, Rockstar Zap. Or whatever. Oh, ps Discharge is super effective. Okay, probably should have been using that then. Oh, you use Scary Face, so well, that's not going to do much to me at all. Uh, speaking of, I, since I mentioned earlier in the video in regards to the whole uh, PS5 thing, uh, I've been playing Spider-Man for the PS5. How is it? Well, okay, I, I, I'm not playing, I haven't been playing Miles Morales yet because I, I didn't actually play the, the original Spider-Man game on the PS4 just because it just, by the time that came out, I wasn't really a fan of Marvel-related anything. Um, it wasn't until... April of 2019, when you single-handedly got I'm me like, hooked. like, watch them all! Yes, you, you, you're, the, the, you're, I believe you're, I believe, if I recall correctly, when you said you wanted to see Endgame, and then you, uh, your uh, next question was, okay, well, how many Marvel movies have you seen? And I said, Iron Man 3, Guardians of the Galaxy, and Captain Marvel. And then also said you weren't interested. And then I was like, no, this is heresy, you must watch them all. Except the Incredible Hulk, you gave me explicit instructions. Yes, I told to you not. not to watch that, but I did make you watch Thor: The Dark World. <laughs> yes, because you hate me. Yes, and I hate myself because I also watched it. And oh boy, that was torture. <laughs> 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 the only reason I I didn't turn off that movie was because of uh, Loki. Like that's literally the only reason. <laughs> Loki, when it comes out, dead. This is like, yeah, I'm just gonna step out of this movie for a while, have fun, suffering. Goodbye. Uh, I mean, that sounds uh, like a Loki thing to do, actually. Just, like, leave people to suffer. Which, which, by the way, I, uh, I, I, I was on Disney+, Plus and I was, because I've been re-watching the MCU movies, and I, I, I actually clicked on the Marvel tab on Disney+, Plus, and I noticed that they're, they're, they're split up into categories, so there's, there's phase one, phase two, phase three, and then there's a separate category. Sh uh, like the cartoons and stuff. Well, there's that, but there's also one that shows the MCU in chronological order, as in, like, the when the, not release order, but the, the order that they actually take place in within that universe. Um, but in every single one of those categories, the Incredible Hulk is nowhere to be found. They, <laughs> oh, yeah. They clearly want to f pretend that that movie never even existed. Okay, so you want another reason for that? I can't. Well, I, I mean, I know it's... Guess some. I can <laughs> guess. guess the reason. Because they replaced the actor with Mark Ruffalo. Uh, it's, it's a little more complicated than that. So, the rights... The, there's, this is also the reason they haven't made our Incredible Hulk movie. So, the rights to the Hulk actually doesn't belong to Disney. It belongs to Universal. So, they also, that means they also don't have the streaming rights to it. And that's why the Incredible Hulk coaster is still at... Right. So, so it's not going to be on Disney+, Plus because Disney doesn't own its rights. That's, all, that's also the reason Spider-Man isn't on there, because Sony owns the rights, and they won't put the streaming rights on Disney. Makes sense. Yeah, so fun streaming right business. Oh yeah, the the legal, sadly still find it on Amazon. The the, le the legal minutia of that is is just thrilling. I must admit. Yeah, uh, it's, it's so thrilling. Talk about legal rights. <laughs> <laughs> this is a stupid conversation. What happened to your Pokemon battle? Oh, uh, I I crushed Hop in with with my with my immense skills is what happened. Uh. And now I'm fighting Team Yell again, because I hate myself. And I'm fighting a skunk, it looks like. I, th I believe it's... Yeah, Linone is the name of the... Of the, the Pokemon I'm currently facing off against. Oh, did we disconnect? I, I, it sounded like it left and then came back. Okay, yeah, so, uh... uh I don't know how much you heard, but basically I'm fighting Team Yell. Uh... And... 
On top of that, the first Pokemon on, on the docket is a skunk. Uh, uh oh, uh oh. Mm. Yes! You'll be fine. You know, you keep saying that. I wonder what I the don't... counter's at. Huh? I said, I wonder what the counter's at. <laughs> I, I I haven't I haven't counted thus far in the series. I'm waiting to count until I reach the very end, and I'm just gonna do one long montage of all the times you've said it. You'll be fine. <laughs> and I, I might I might counterbalance that with a with with a counter that's that's questioning how many times you've been correct in saying that. <laughs> like how many times I've actually been fine. Uh. And I think that's that'd be most of them, except for the Bay Battle, in which case you were just horribly wrong. And I was not fine. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, uh, the reason we got on the topic of streaming service rights is because I mentioned that I wasn't a fan of Marvel until Endgame came out. And because of uh, that, I, I never played the original Spider-Man game for the PS4. But the bundle I got for the PS5 bundles the remastered version of that game with Miles Morales, so I'm, I'm playing through the first one before I play through this, because it's a sequel to the first game. It's... I've only played through the first mission, but it is great so far. Oh, yeah. Uh, I heard it was, like, the best Spider-Man thing that came out that year, and that game came out the same year as Into the Spider-Verse and Far From Home. So... Far... Uh, year for Spider-Man. Far From Home came out the next year. You know what I mean. The, <laughs> There's a Spider-Man uh, thing that came out... Right. Homecoming was 2017, Far From Home was 2019, and I guess Infinity War was 2018, so does that count as a Spider-Man thing? Did I get my dates mixed up? Did it get swished between Far From Home and, it, and, and Homecoming? I guess it did. Well, Homecoming would still be 2017. Because Have you seen Into the Spider-Verse, by the way? I have. Uh, I saw it when you were in Mexico over spring break, and it was awesome. Oh, yes. I, I saw it multiple times. It's great. Please tell me you saw it in 3D. I don't have a 3D TV. Oh, that's unfortunate. It is such a good experience to see in 3D. If it ever uh, goes back into theaters, you should watch in 3D. Uh, the thing there is that if it goes back into theaters, it'll probably only... Movies rarely come back in 3D, unless they unless the, that's the gimmick. Like, for instance, the Toy Story movies came back to theaters in 3D. Uh, the Lion King came back in 3D, Beauty and the Beast, etc. But if, if a movie's just coming back... It's really worth the effort to hook it up to a 3D projector. Mm. Um, but yeah, I, I don't... What about 3D movies? Do you want to hear about the shenanigans DreamWorks did to get How to Train Your Dragon into all the theaters over Clash of the Titans? I would love to, because I've recently rewatched that trilogy, and it's 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 glorious. Oh, yes, it's such a good trilogy, Rock. Uh, could, uh, if there's any story things, please feel free to stop me to read them out. So... The, the shenanigans that DreamWorks pulled in order to get their movie into theaters at the same time as Clash of the Titans. Because when this movie was coming out, they wanted every single they wanted every single theater in a theater to be showing their movie. But like at the time, Clash of the Titans was apparently the movie that was going to do better, which we all know is not true <laughs> at all. <laughs> um, but basically, what I think DreamWorks, what I believe DreamWorks did, is that they went to the movie theaters and told them, "If you don't show our movie in every single theater, we're not going to give you the movie at all." And I guess they weighed the consequences of doing that and said, "You know what? Clash of the Titans is not worth it. Give us the movie." And that's why we have, uh, that's why How to Train Your Dragon succeeded. I think the only other movie I've ever seen be playing in literally every single theater in a theater at the same time was Endgame. Yeah. That I mean, I don't think Disney had to throw around weight to get that done. Probably not, because that would that just that dominated the world when it came out. It just happened. They're just like, okay, if we actually want to make money, we might as well show it everywhere. Well, they would have made money even if it didn't show in every single theater, but I mean, it certainly freaking helped that that it was everywhere. Showing like every thirty minutes in every theater, uh, for quite a while, and then they brought it back to theaters a second time. Yes, just to get it over the over the highest grossing movie mark. Which doesn't even technically add up because, like, you need to go like ticket sales. Yeah, you inflation. also need to go through inflation too. I also have no. I mean, it still probably would have beat it out. I just have no. I, I I'm trying to imagine the type of person that has actual investment in what the number one gross highest grossing thing is um 
I, I'm just like, uh, I, I don't really care. Especially because both movies are now Disney property. It's like, okay, great. Disney beat Disney. You sh you, you, you sure did something not revolutionary there. You're doing a great right. job, Disney, making the Monopoly. <laughs> breaking, so proud of you. Some, breaking some serious ground here. Which, by the way, Avatar is still, like, on Disney+, Plus. it's still listed under the top movies category. It's, like, one of the top movies, and I'm like, are you sure about that? It's one of the top movies at the time, but it just didn't leave have any like significant cultural impact well it I'm... happened everyone was amazed by it and then everyone forgot about it because most people if you like ask them they probably couldn't name any of the characters from that movie uh i i've kind of just deliberately avoided seeing it because i've i've heard it's all visual spectacle and not any really a fundamental good story or character so it's just like i don't really care i was too young to see it when it came out and I just never bothered to see it as I got older, so. Yeah, I just, uh, I mean, I, I, I've i ridden the Flight of Passage ride at Animal Kingdom in, in Disney World, which is f probably the best ride they've ever created. Um, but as for the movie itself, I just, I know that, aren't they making, like, four more sequels to that or something? I think they said five. Oh, my God. How do you, how, I, I, okay, sure, just go for it, Disney. You eat your heart out. What could possibly go wrong with your glorious plan? Also, in the context of Pokemon, I got... You know that, that Rotom bike you showed off to me uh, in the wild area? The one that uh, swims? Yeah. Well, I, I just got that. Now I'm gliding across the ice. Or, I mean, I'm glad I'm sailing through the water, but I'm, I'm in an icy environment. I, I, I am going the right way, I assume, to reach the next gym. Yes. Good. Oh, I'm at... Oh. I feel like it's a little bit too cold for you two to be out in your bathing suits. I, I just found this random group, uh, these random two people out on the left, the far left side of the area, on this random beach, just stripped down to their bathing suits while it's snowing out. You might want to put some clothes on there, friends, so you don't freeze your rear ends off. Oh, God. I also see these, like, these cute little penguins swimming around, and they're just the most adorable things in the world. I'm also fighting whales, because of course I am. You know? Whale Pokemon, my, my favorite. The octopus, are, you're gonna hate the octopus. The what now? I don't know, she, she's gone silent, that, mean, that means something bad's coming up. Well, I can't, whatever it is, it can't be worse than the freaking, the bay boss battle. Just, nothing can ever be as bad as, what did you, is it gonna belly flop on me? It's not here. It just... It just jumped up into the sky. What? It's gonna come crashing down on me. Oh, yep. I mean, it didn't do anything to me. What? It just... This, this whale launched itself up into the air, s hovered there for about 10 seconds, and then came crashing down, only to basically just have us have sneezed on me a little bit. Just did no damage whatsoever. Which is interesting. Yeah, but uh, the nice thing about my t the new TV is that... Uh, you know how this, uh, the new Spider-Man games offer gr graphics per first performance mode? Where you can have like ray tracing and all that at 30 FPS or uh, none of that but at 60 FPS? Yes. Well, because my TV upscales the frame rate, I don't have to choose anymore. Which is nice. It just happens. Yeah, I'm also. It also allows me to watch like TV shows and movies at higher frame rates, which is, which is great. Uh, I, 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 I think there's probably. I think there's people on the on that are that would advocate against watching movies at higher frame rates because it ruins the cinematic experience or whatever. But I don't care. I, I if if I have a choice between 24 and 60 FPS, I will choose 60 FPS every single time. Uh, Interesting. It looks nice. Without hesitation. Now I'm fighting Quillfish. Which is basically just a giant... Uh, giant pufferfish. Yeah, pufferfish. That's... I was going to call it a pokeyfish. Because I could not think of the name for it for some reason. I think of what pufferfish was. I... Yeah, I, I, I don't know why. But I, the, the name was in my head. It was up there somewhere. I just couldn't... Couldn't access that information. Uh, it was buried deep inside your mind. Yeah, let's let's go with that. 
Oh, it just launched a bunch of green missiles at me. And, oh, and launched some more. Speaking of going deep inside people's freaking minds, I recently uh, finished recording Zero Escape Virtue's Last Award. Are you watching that, LP? Mm, no. Okay, so it it's a 3DS game, and it it's possibly the most mind-boggling thing I've ever played in my entire life. Like, I mean, I can't... I can kind of go into it without getting giving away spoilers, but basically, uh, it, it's... Just describe it's, it in one word, then. How about a hyphenated word? Yeah. Time travel. Oh. Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, okay, not, maybe not exactly... I mean, no, it, it is basically that. It's... It, that's the core of the game, is this jumping between different timelines, and it's... Uh, there's no faster way to break your brain than when playing that game, especially if you play it back to back to back. Like I recorded the last couple endings all in a row, so I could just record it in one big batch. That was not good for my brain. At the end, of my, by the end of it, my brain just wanted to snap in half. And there's still an entire because it, it's the second, it's the middle part of a trilogy. So there's still another game to play after it. I don't know if I'm prepared for that. I mean, it's great. The story was awesome, and the characters. Uh, well, okay, maybe not the new characters. But the old characters and the relationships they had, how it tied in everything, that was all phenomenal. It's just, you have to get through so much scientific, like, I'm, you know me, I am not opposed to, to scientific explanations for things. But when it gets to the point of convolution that that game does... It's a thing. Oh, it's a thing, alright. It is most certainly a thing. Uh, it gets hard real quick. Understatement of the century. If you want, to, if you want to check it out for yourself, it's on the 3DS. Uh, I, I would just advise small doses so that your brain doesn't explode. Small doses. Yeah, take, 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 take it one step at a time. Okay, I've reached. I think I've reached land. Am I going? The, oh, I think I'm going the right way. Maybe. Let, let, let's check the map to see if I actually find a way into Spike Muth. Okay. Let's check the map to see where is this Spike Muth down here. Okay, okay. So I, I, I am going the correct direction. Uh. I just gotta head down here, and then, okay, so, the, the spike is the far east of the map, then. Excuse me. Well, I'm headed in the correct direction. I just gotta face off against some more trainers. And I'll get there at some point. Challenged by Black Belt Reese. Okay. Send out Sock. Let me guess, you're gonna be a fighting-type Pokemon? Trainer thing? Because your, your first, the first Pokemon you threw out looks like Looks like Osmosis Jones meets a Kung Fu trainer. His name is Sock. Spelled S-A-W-K. I can almost guarantee that these are fighting types, so I'm going to keep playing as Howler. Almost. I mean... I... Did you find the octopus yet? No, I have not. I've, I've seen a whale, a pufferfish, um, and that's about it. I haven't seen any. I haven't seen any octopi, but I'm also out of the water now, so I don't think I'll be finding another octopus anytime soon. I think it's gonna be all land creatures from here on out. Oh, did I go down here? Maybe I go down here. Okay. Oh no, 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 no! I see that. I don't nope, stay away. Stay away. I see that octopus. Nope, 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 nope. Staying far away. I found a big pearl. Okay. I I, I do like myself some big pearls. Okay. There we go. I found. Okay. Oh, uh, outer, new beach. Out, outer spike move. Are we here? Is this my destination? Well, I would think so. I think I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, great. All right. Hey, friends. I'm. I'm. No, I don't want to. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop. No. I, I almost opened up the. I almost opened up the expansion pass, which would have quit. Which would have quit the game and take me to the e shop. 